So this is what we're making. A smooth, fold form, adjustable ring. Quick and easy. I'm going to make a size L ring, which is 16.3 millimeters inside diameter on the ring sizer. And this material is 0.5 thick copper, 10 millimeters wide. So 16.3 plus 0.5, 16.8 times 3.14 gives me 52.75. This is going to be an adjustable ring, so it's not quite so critical. So just set your veneers and these you don't have to leave set because once you cut this that's it. So we're just going to cut it in this case slightly short of the mark because we don't we don't want the ends touching we want a little bit of a gap. So File here in, file the corners slightly rounded. Like that. I don't know whether I told you, but this is copper, and I'm using copper because I'm doing a prototype. And often, oftentimes I'll do prototypes with copper because it's so inexpensive. So we need to anneal this. We need to have it soft, and I'll just put it on the charcoal block, heat it until it's a dull red, If you can see red at all, that's enough. Then we'll quench it in water. And I'm not going to dry it. <laughs> I, I am going to dry it. I'm not going to pickle it because I want the oxides so that I can see my line. So dry off your metal and we want to set our veneers to half the width. And you can see that the metal is oxidized, so I'm just going to put the top edge of the veneers over the metal, drag the back down, and I have this nice little scratch that you can see. So now I'm going to use my confirming pliers. 
put them so that there's about a millimeter gap on the line. and fold it over as far as I can. And then I'm going to just squeeze it closed with my pliers. So we just want to do a little bit at a time to make sure that the edges are lined up as close as we can get them. Now, I'm not going to hammer this close because I want a dead, as smooth a finish as I can get, so I'm going to use the rolling mill. Now, if you don't have a mill, you can uh, use a wooden hammer or a plastic hammer. It won't be quite as smooth, but it, it'll still work. So what I'm going to do is just open the mill, put the piece through, Close the mill, finger tight, and that'll squeeze the metal the rest of the way. Then I'll roll it out, and you can see how it's flat, where I rolled the mill flat and took it out. And now I'll leave that, set that thickness, and roll it all the way through. So now I have this perfectly formed, flat, crimped edge, and we'll anneal it now. Actually, I'll make it just a shade tighter and go through again, because I want, I really want that confirmed, I want that a nice, flat edge. So now we'll anneal it again and open it up. Quench it in water, dry it off, I'm just going to use a burnisher to start to open this. And because the metal is so thin, it'll be quite easy to open. And then I'll just rest this on a ring mandrel and hammer it with my rawhide hammer to open it the rest of the way. So I've just opened it that much. As, as you're opening this, be careful because you don't want to crimp it. You don't want to crimp the edge over. You just want to make sure that it slowly opens. So you can see I've opened it this far. And now if you have the letters or the numbers on your ring mandrel, Turn that so that they're not visible, otherwise you'll have little marks on the inside of your ring. So 
Now I've got it open that far, and at that point, I'll come up on my ring mandrel, hold one in. Now, you could either have that ridge up or on the inside. It's up to you. I'm putting it up. And I check. I've actually got it one size bigger because I have that much of a gap. So we can close up the gap and it'll be the correct size. It is. Now, it's almost there. It's round, but the edges aren't exactly round. So what I'm going to do is go over a dapping punch and tap the edge with my rawhide hammer. So I'm just going to hold my punch in device. And we just want to just tap the tap the edge, not the top, to get any little ripples out. So we don't want to do anything other than smooth this edge. Turn it around, do the other side. And now we're ready to polish it. Before we polish it, we have to pickle it to get the oxides off. Well, we don't have to pickle it, but it takes a lot less polishing if it's pickled. So here it is. Our fold form ring, all polished up. And the fact that it has a ridge in the middle allows us to use a really thin piece of material because it's plenty tough. It, uh, it won't deform. It'll hold its shape. Adjustable.